So a really interesting reoccurring question that comes up over and over and over again is how do I start in this one place of my life and design it so I can have the best life? And when we think about this, especially with men or even with females, because a lot of this actually came from a female asking for different advice, how do I get good at business? How do I get good in relationships? If you're a man seeking relationships with women, how do I get good with women? How do I get good with trauma or PTSD or different beliefs? And the interesting answer is, is that how we do that, it's very important to be able to move from where we're starting into an overall design. And one of the big problems with this is if we just start with like, let's say I wanna be good with women or good with relationships or get what I want, almost always the solution in all self-development does not relate to your overall getting better at everything. And if you fail as a man, seeking excellence in your life, if you fail at having a good life just because you bought into what looks good in the beginning, like you wanna start a business or you wanna have a good mindset or get past some trauma, man, you have failed. And I see a lot of men do that and they have to, they end up in a bad spot 10, five years down the road and I don't want any of that to happen. So this is an interesting question because when we're in pain, we seek a solution, we seek an answer, and that pain could be many things. The problems are obvious when we're in pain. If we can't meet women, it's all about how do we find women and get the sexual experiences or the relationships, all these different things that we think are important. But if we get the answer that pain is delivering us, then we almost inevitably screw up our careers or screw up our abilities to have long-term relationships or we screw up our lifestyle or we build a bad reputation which affects different things. All right, so let's look at this. With men's development, there's always going to be four areas where men kind of go to at any place they start. Those four things are going to be women, money, health, and purpose. And they kind of get defined in very different ways at different phases of life, but they always come back to that. Women could be relationships, it could be meeting women, it could be being married, it could be struggles that you have with women. Money can be career, it can even move into lifestyle, it could be your job, it could be investments, it could be how to make more money. Basically building a more solid foundation. How can I output something as a man and get something back? Health can be diet, it can be fitness, it could be counting calories, it could be how to manage your personal health with your situation better. That means people who might have a certain disorder or sickness or illness or any of these different things are gonna come together and look at how can I be more healthy? How can I live longer? And purpose is one of the most interesting ones because how I work it in my courses that I have in Men's Development Excellence is we do purpose and ambition. But purpose oftentimes gets lumped up in ambition. I'm not gonna go into all of that right now. But purpose means your meaning, your drive. Also, it means your function as a man. And these are huge topics for men and masculinity. Now, there's way more than just four areas of a man's life that make him strong, but this is a solid foundation and this is what always men talk about. But let's actually look at this because if we get the women in our life handled, coming from a point of not having women, sex, or relationships, we're only going to focus on that. And you could also see this in terms of money. If we get the money in our life handled because we don't want to be poor or we want to maintain wealth or whatever it is, we want to get rich, but we don't take into consideration our health and fitness. And then if we focus on our health and fitness and get really good shape and fit the model of what a man that's attractive looks like, whatever that might be. But we don't take into consideration our purpose, our ambition, our life's meaning, our drive. We're gonna get all screwed up. And so my point here is, is that when we look at your life, when you look at you developing as a man and you're in deficit, you're in pain because you're unhealthy, you don't wanna be fat anymore, you wanna look like the ripped guy, or you're sick of being poor and you want financial freedom, or you wanna date the women that you want, and you don't want women to choose you, or you've gone through a divorce, you don't know what's happening, or if you're a young man starting out your life and you don't know what purpose and ambition or drive that you need to have and you don't wanna screw things up, if you don't don't work a well-rounded approach of self-help, you're gonna fail. And that type of failing is the worst kind, and I'll tell you why. So this last week, I was in Hardin, Colombia, which is this beautiful, beautiful, spectacular city. And man, it was very cool. Took a lot of drone footage, took a lot of video, took a lot of pictures. Took a lot of stuff, 
But one of the most interesting lessons that came out of that whole experience was looking at different land and properties there with my friend who owns 70 acres. So in order to get there, we had to actually leave Hardin, go up the mountain and through all these crazy country roads, which was spectacular. I mean, the video does not do it justice how unbelievably amazing it was. But here's where this all ties into men's development. As we were going up to the top of the mountain and we were high up, I mean like away from everybody. Nearest neighbor or nearest other person was miles away. There's a dirt road and it started to rain. So when we were looking at this awesome spot, now this is actually right on the edge of the mountain. On one side of the mountain, we're right at the top, you can see the valley where Hardin's in. And then on the other side is like, Man, another part of the Andes which separates us from the Pacific Ocean, and it's just amazing. So you might be thinking, what does this have to do with men's development? And we're getting there, and it really has a lot to do with the point that I'm trying to make. At the point when it started raining in that area, we turned around and went back to his property to get there as quick as possible. One, because we had to pick somebody up who was working there, and it's literally like an hour away from any accessible road where you don't need an ATV or some sort of insane four-wheel drive monster to get there. So we haul butt back to his place and what we're seeing on his property, which is 70 acres, there's the waterways that he had already put up that are basically making his land not flood or the flooding that is inevitable that's going to happen be manageable. What do you need? This is really interesting because we spent a lot of time digging out ditches and gutters and trying to make things accessible so that his property wouldn't flood but still, you know, not ruin the land. It's an interesting balance, right? So when you're living in nature that much, you want to preserve nature, but you also want to preserve your home. And you want to preserve your home so that it doesn't hurt its nature around it meaning it doesn't augment the terrain and doesn't screw up the ecosystem that is all around that. This is something that man is really good at doing is screwing up everything that is within his nature. And this is where it has to do with men's development. And see, look, now it's raining, it's raining, ah. So there's this incomprehensible amount of water and we're trying to irrigate the water properly away from his property while preserving nature. Because one thing that man is so good at doing, as we just said, is that he's so good at taking his own nature, seeing the potential of it, turning it into ambition and purpose and all this sort of stuff while destroying his own nature. And so it was funny because my buddy was like, man, what do you do for a living? Which by the way, one of the first things that everybody asks you in the United States is that question. But if you go anywhere else in the world, it's like the last thing that they ask. And I'd spent like two days and like two and a half days with this guy. And he's like, what do you do for work? And I told him, man, I'm a men's coach. And he was like, what does that mean? He's like, do, do people have a problem with being a man? And it's crazy because with us in the West, what we do is exactly what we were doing with the flood. Man notices his nature inside of himself, his force of nature that revolves around sex, that revolves around ambition, that revolves around career and building something, that involves his relationships, that involves his mind and how he expresses himself. And in our pursuit of that nature, if we do not know how to access our nature best, we destroy it. Meaning the force of nature inside of us that can make us live an amazing life, we screw up because we're one dimensional with how we fix ourselves. And more specifically, we try and fix ourselves like our dating, our sex, our relationships, at the expense of our body, our minds, our lifestyles, our ambitions, our careers, and we don't learn how to integrate it all. And see, this is the important thing because when it comes to a young man in his 20s, he's gonna wanna build his career. But don't do that at the expense of your body. Don't do that the, at the expense of your relationships and your sex and your dating knowledge. Don't do that at the expense of you designing your best possible lifestyle. You get to a man who's in his upper 20s or in his 30s and he's wanting to have the best life where he has his money in order. He has women that he wants and the experiences that he wants. Maybe he has the relationship that he wants. Maybe he wants to be a better father. But we don't wanna do that at the expense of 
our careers. We don't want to do that at the expense of our passion, our purpose. We don't want to do that at the expense of our health. And the traps that we run into for the modern man in designing his best life is we cheapen it by going for the quick fix. And in that, we disrespect and undervalue the potential within you. And why would you let some talking head on YouTube or Facebook or TikTok convince you that you should suppress or not look at all the great qualities around you that you slowly rise up just because you don't want to be that fat kid in middle school or just because you don't want to be poor or just because you have issues around women. And let me just tell you why that is so bad because we see it over and over again in our culture. Somebody that becomes superlative with their career or superlative with their relationships, having a larger than life lifestyle, superlative in some socially acceptable way in one dimension of their life while the rest of their life remains dysfunctional. Yet they don't have to see it as dysfunctional. They never even have to look at it. They can stay in a constant state of denial because there are yes men all around them in the zeitgeist of our society, but also within their friends going like, man, you're killing it. And then we have rich men who have sexual dysfunction that think they can outthink it, that think they can hack it in the ways that they hack their business and not realize it's a totally separate thing. Or we have a guy that's super physically fit, that looks amazing, that it has the body that we would all die for, yet his mind is still unhealthy and chases things that will always reject him. And perhaps the bigger question in all of this is that we are designing a society where we say yes to, where we congratulate a mentality which sets men up for failure. But you know what the best part about that is, is you have the option to change it. And see, if you wanna know what the opposite of my coaching is, is the opposite of that is the quick fix. The opposite of that is an answer that works in a one dimensional way. See what I do in terms of coaching and what I've done for the last 15 years and 12 years of having a community is create thousands of men that have a well-rounded approach to their life. And it's proven, meaning that I cannot guarantee that you won't have a tragedy happen in your life. I cannot guarantee that you might get laid off. I can't guarantee that you might go through a divorce. But what I can guarantee is I can give you a foundation that's so strong that if everything falls apart in one dimension of your life or even two, you're gonna be strong enough to handle it, to build yourself up better and to turn that tragedy into something which is great. And the best part about that is there's proof of that happening over and over and over again. If you wanna get in that community, that's men's development excellence. I produce these videos for you guys to watch for free and to get something out of it and to get into our free programs which are listed down below. The sad part about that is not a lot of people change from that and I kind of wish they would. I put up 800 videos on YouTube. I have no idea on Instagram or any of that other stuff, but I have put out a lot of free content. But the fact of the matter is, is guys change from being in our groups. And in my opinion, it doesn't really have to do with money. Maybe it does. But what it has to do with is men who commit themselves to a community and ecosystem where there's content, where there's support, there's leadership, and there's a complete environment of men who have achieved the goals that they're looking at, or there's men that are right where they're at, or there's men that are just starting out and a little bit lower than them. And the best part about our community is it focuses on everything. That's where men achieve excellence, and that is men's development excellence. If you're serious about bettering your life, it's where you go. And if you wanna continue that discussion, that is the best place to have it. And we've seen men at every generational point, whether that's in their 20s, in their 30s, in their 40s, in their 50s, or in their 60s, radically change and design their lives so that they are set up for the rest of their lives. And on that note, I'm gonna get out of here. Enjoy the view and thanks guys so much for watching and have a good day, man. You always wanna live your life to your potential because if you're not, you're disrespecting what was given to you. Good idea to not die. Woo!